Hey guys, this is Gaming Seed with part 20 of Pokemon Black. And Blitzel's just gonna pursue. Yeah, this is right continued. This is continued from part 19. I think it was. Yeah, 19. And this is part 20. And we have a Blitzel coming out. Crap, I don't. Soul Spider is dead. If you saw in the last video, it died to the stupid crit flame charge on this thing. And this flame charge is gonna do nothing! Woot! <laughs> and I miss with takedown. And pursuit's gonna do nothing as well. And I missed again with takedown! Is this gonna be like that time in the Relic Castle when I had to fight that Sigilith? Okay, it wasn't three times. <laughs> Even compared to Ms. Lisa, yeah, Lisa the gym leader. And after beating that guy that comes out of the roller coaster, you get to go through this one up the hill. Take the sound from that arcade bowling game on the DSI shop. I actually have that on my DSI Excel, which I'm using to record this video with. And all the other Pokemon Black videos. Yeah, I'm just using a DSI Excel because I do not yet have a 3DS, and I do not plan on getting one until those games like Super Mario 3D Land and Mario Kart 7 come out. Which probably won't be for a pretty long time. I think it's going to be like December. I'll probably just get them for Christmas. Um... Damn. Okay, please t kill it in one shot. Um. Oh well, I've gotten myself into a tough situation. But luckily, I have lemonade. Yeah, lemonade. My Pokemon loves lemonade, and I love lemonade. Yeah, I actually do drink a lot of lemonade in my life. It's awesome. Uh, I think a flame charge should, fin should finish it off. And spark. Yeah, I think all these amalgas just know like quick attack, shockwave, spark, and double team. And yeah, that didn't even look like it hit according to the animation. That was kind of weird, but. I think that was the other trainer that came out of the roller coaster. Now let me heal up. I don't care if the roller coaster goes by while I'm healing up. I really don't. I'm gonna revive. So, I, I could have probably gotten through the gym without doing that. Actually, let me super potion pig knight as well, cause I did get kind of beat up in that fight. It's cause it started with like 39 HP and it ended with 39 HP. Uh. See, how are we doing on time? 3.36. Okay, I have a bunch of time left. Um, that one just zoomed on by. And now you gotta go through this one. I think there's only one more trainer in the gym. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Actually, it's just Aliza. Okay, we're gonna be fighting her in this video. But I have to go heal. See you guys back over here. And we're back. Okay, let's fight Aliza. But first, let me switch on my team. I'm not sure about how to go throughout this fight. I was gonna use light screen with alien bird. But I'm probably just gonna go with a rollout combo. <laughs> Cause her first two Pokemon are Amalgas and they're part flying. So yeah, I'm just clean that off my screen. Amalga. She has two of them. They're both level 25. They both know the moves. Quick attack, pursuit, volt, switch, and spin. Spark. Volt Switch is indeed. Oh, wait, no, not Spark Aerial Ace. Um. Damn, that does a lot. Should have probably flame charged and get up my speed. Um. Two. Two. And I'm on two HP and I'm paralyzed. Dream. 
do that to me. An alien breaker to level 28. And a one more reflect. I'm gonna get rid of whirlwind. Time for the other Amalga. I'm gonna head over to Pan Sage of the Death Father. Gonna have to start out my rollout combo again. But last these I no, that's not gonna fully heal me and I need to be fully healed. So hyper potion. Should I go with the second death father? Whatever. I'll just leave him paralyzed and hope for the best. Now that I said that I'm totally gonna jinx it. Oh darn it, this one's actually doing half with his aerial aces. Um Hope him faster and hope he didn't go for the volts. Hope she doesn't go for the volts switch. They're shining brilliantly. If I actually get the confusion hacks with against her last Pokemon, which is a Strika, with the moves Quick Attack, Flame Charge, Spark, and Volt Switch. Yeah, confusion! Yes! Did that seriously just happen? Did I seriously just beat his Striker with a single if? Wow, this is a more successful take than I thought. Jeez. Um. I'm gonna switch as a Death Father. Cause I know I can live through a Volt Switch, and I think I can kill this thing off with another Psy Beam. Just to be sure, I'm gonna revive Pig Knight. <laughs> you know, one area list actually doesn't kill me so I can get more healing in. Woot! Um. Now, the big decision who should I fresh water? You're gonna probably need a fresh water both anyway. I'm gonna go for the attack. Darn it! Volt switched. Did not want it to volt switch. Mm -hmm. This is basically just a healing circle right here between Alien Bird and Flame Bacon. Power points does it at least get? Yeah, this is basically just a huge healing circle. It's really all this is. Oh, you son of a bitch! Should have hyper potion that turn. Actually, eliminated that turn. Let's go for Psybeam. Okay, it's actually not doing half. Yes! I just... I basically just owned an electric type gym leader with a flying type. Wow! Lisa, I've actually had some trouble with Lisa in the past. Did I just pretty much 
own your team with a flying type. What was that? What was that? Oh, I'm just so excited. I can't even. And you get the Volt Badge and you get Volt Switch TM. It's basically an electric type U-turn. Um, and she mentions Driftvale City and the drawbridge. And that it's broken and they can just get it fixed, but they don't want to without Eliza. And the fifth gym leader, which is ground type gym leader Clay. They don't want to fix it with without them around for some odd reason. Exit the gym. And no epic cutscenes or anything happen. Okay. Heading just west of Nimbasa City onto Route 5, Sharon is going to come up to you and he's going to ask who is stronger and challenge you to a battle. Mm, this fight's not too bad in general. His monkey's not even evolved yet. He's gonna send, start with Lipard with the moves I believe Hone Claws, Assurance, Fake Out. And a tract. Ugh, a tract. You're gonna take this thing out fast. If, unless you don't have any females, then it doesn't matter with a tract. So, yeah, odds are he's gonna do fake out on the first turn. Oh, wait, no, it knows torment. It doesn't know home claws, it knows torment or something. I don't know. So, down goes Lipard. And going to level 29. Okay, Pan Seer. This part of the game is when the monkeys start to actually get challenging because they have their new moves. Pan Seer is gonna have Flame Burst. Pan Sage is gonna have Seed Bomb. And Pan Poor is gonna get Scald. Um. I'm just going with the rollout here. Yeah, there's Flame Burst for you. Pretty powerful fire type move, but since I resist it, it did not do much. And down goes the Pants here. Um, do I... Uh, should I switch or should I keep the rollout going? I'm going to keep the rollout going. Woo, I'm faster. Um, and that's going to activate his Citrus Berry, I think it is. Yep. And it's just gonna focus its energy for some reason. I don't know why it didn't attack with like a water pulse or whatever. And Duat is down. Last up is Tranquil. And Pig Knight is level 30. Tranquil, normal flying type, taunt, detect, roost, and air cutter. And rollout 5 is definitely gonna kill this. Yep. Down it goes. Well, you are strong as usual. Why can't you beat you? And here is Eliza. And you're gonna walk over to the drawbridge. OMG, epic fire hair, dude! Why if it isn't Eliza? Epic music here. This is Alda, the Unova region's champion. What? I actually get to find out who the champion is before I actually face them? I know Super Scarlet Marie made that joke, but I honestly agree. Sorry for a second. Um, what else is there other than striving to become stronger? Is that enough of a goal? And you've helped to learn to love Pokemon. Well, and we have to face a double battle with these two preschoolers. And we get fully healed. Both of us. Um, so we're running out a little on time. I think it's time to end the video. Okay, next part we're going to be finishing this up and probably going through a lot of Route 5. See you guys then.